Okay, this is part 14 of the Python Game Engine programming tutorial series that I'm putting out. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at collision detection. And just very basic for starters. So what we have is the cylinder now. I have some, I've changed the code inside the cylinder routine. Let's go take a look at it. So here's the cylinder object. And associated with it is this code. And also associated with it is some game logic. Now what was in here was, it was always like this because that's how we were able to run the cylinder object routine before. This was in the first couple of lessons. And then I came in here and I added this touch sensor as well. And I connected in here. So you kind of can use the best of both worlds. You can use the logic bricks and you can then tie it to code. So the code is called cylinder object. And we'll go look at that code. So what's in here is I've added one more thing, just like we had in the other routine, the scene, the keyboard. Now I've added get a touch sensor. So I call it touch and the controller sensor is called touch. So if you were to look in here, this logic, see that touch right there? That's the name that you can do it. I'll just call it touch2 for the moment just so you can see what's happening. And then I'll go into scripting and then this would have to be called touch2 also right there like that. So that's the name of the sensor. And this is just a variable I've assigned to it to use down here. And then within main, I've changed this main routine to be all it used to do before was if you press the keyboard, the down key, it rotated it. And now in this case, I now have another routine called check for collision. And this is all you really required. It says uh, there's this thing called dot positive. So if touch dot positive is equal to true, which means if that cylinder collides with anything is really what it's saying check for collision with I'll say anything because that's really what that is then I'm going to apply rotation on the y-axis the global y-axis and of 0.785 radians alright if you're not familiar with radians that's just kind of another angle of measure like in degrees and you should definitely check my video called just what is a radian just type that in under YouTube search just what is a radian and that'll give you a lot of insight because rotations within here are, we use radian degrees of measure instead of angles alright so what I'm saying is I rotate it this is, would be the same as rotating on a 45 degree angle so when the routine runs it says if it touches anything rotate 45 degrees alright so let's go look at the go look at it. So now when I run it, I just have it set up here like this. So that it's doing nothing, but now it hits the ground and it's just rotating over and over. It just keeps constantly rotating an additional 45 degrees because it's constantly in touch with the surface as it hit here. All right. So that's one way you could do all kinds of things. You could apply a force to that and make it bounce off or something. So let's make it a little more uh, easy to control. Let's see, so earlier we had actually had this routine in here that on the down arrow key, you could apply a rotation just by pressing the down arrow key. In fact, let's see that if I press it, I'll just immediately press the down arrow key and you see I'm rotating it, which is different from the collision rotation. So let's do this instead. Let's take the down arrow key and we'll apply a, rot we'll apply a force to this instead and instead of the y direction for we'll apply a force of maybe 200 and well this really should be the up arrow key but what are we doing in the other routine for the up arrow key let's see the cube object what do we do we're using the up arrow key because it's also checking for things so you know what we'll do we'll just use a different key we'll call it something else I don't know, we'll call it, we'll just call it the C key for this cylinder for now. All right, so now what I'm saying is here, if somebody presses the C key, apply a force in the Z direction on the, lo oh, this is in the local axis. That could mess this up. Let's just keep this on the global axis for the moment. And then if it hits, the, hits any object, just start rotating. All right, so let's save that go back into here run it so now it should come down and just rotate now if I press the C key in the global axis straight up it should 
move off, there it is, and it's not rotating. Hits again, starts rotating. All right? So it's kind of like on your video games, you see, they're just, you just, you can make things bounce, right? I press it a lot. It's just that, press it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more. All right? Well, that kind of gives you some pretty good tools to work with between, uh, now between these first 14 lessons, you have a lot of power in your hands, and you can start doing a lot of creative stuff, and then a lot of it's about experimentation and just having at it. All right. Well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.